What's up guys and girls? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to adjust the pedal stiffness for each pedal on the Logitech Pro pedals. The solution is pretty ingenious and requires no tools whatsoever. As you can see from the included manual, although I'm showing it incredibly badly here, there are four different strength springs included. Two come pre-installed to the throttle and clutch already. And there are an additional two springs also included in the box. The stiffness ranges from brown being the stiffest, then red, then yellow, and finally white being the softest spring. So the white spring will require the least amount of force to fully depress, while the brown spring will require the highest amount. Changing these springs in and out is incredibly easy. Simply pull back on either the throttle or the clutch, as I'm doing here, whichever one you wish to change first, then lift the whole rear pedal mechanism up. This will essentially allow the rear of the pedal to slide away from the front. You can then remove the spring and replace this with a different one. The pedals come pre-installed with the red spring on the clutch and yellow spring on the throttle. If I hold all springs together you can see some difference in height and coil tightness. So then it's simply a case of choosing the spring you wish to try out next. Slide it onto the rear of the pedal and then slide over the rear locking mechanism. Once both of these are back on the pedal, ensure the white arrow is pointing upwards, then pull back and reinsert the pedal into its spot. And that's all you need to do and you're ready to race. I changed the clutch spring out a few times to try and find the correct stiffness, eventually opting for the stiffest brown spring, and then for the throttle, I opted for the red spring, making it slightly stiffer than it was at standard. The brake pedal uses a similar principle as the other two pedals, but involves a little extra steps due to its complexity. In the instructions, it shows you exactly how to change the elastomers at the rear of the brake pedal, and what combination produces the highest and lowest levels of resistance. Again, forgive my shoddy camera work here. Much like the throttle and clutch, the brake pedal comes pre-installed with three elastomers, and then there are another three included in the box, along with some lubricant to ensure everything works smoothly. To remove the brake assembly, you simply pull back on the brake pedal just like we did for the throttle and clutch, but it will be stiffer to remove it than both the throttle and clutch were, so you have to pull a little bit harder. Once it's out of its slot, you then have to unscrew the blue part that includes the load cell wording on the top. Once unscrewed, you can simply remove the lower part of the rear brake assembly completely. Here you'll see the elastomers that are pre-installed and you can also see the red elastomer that is stuck to the end of the brake. Simply remove these and replace them with new elastomers. There is some lubricant on them already to allow for smooth movement, so you'll need to wipe it all down and reapply this lubricant when adding new elastomers. Once you've installed the elastomers that you want into the brake assembly, slide the rear part back onto the brake shaft and then reattach the blue part by screwing them all together. Finally, pull back on the brake once more and reinsert it back into its slot, ensuring that the white arrow is pointing upwards. And that is how you adjust the brake. As you can see, this process is incredibly easy, it just takes a couple of minutes and you may only have to do this once or twice until you find your ideal pedal stiffness but it's a pretty neat way of adjusting the pedals, I think. And that'll do it for this video. If you found it helpful, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below whether you're gonna get these pedals, whether you like the way you, they adjust or not. And also subscribe as I release daily F122, ACC, and general sim racing content. So hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more stuff from us. But until next time, guys, I'll see you on track.